Okay, let's fly the F08 by Yu Zhang and try to do the upside down flight per the manual. You know, we have to go at least five meters high. Switch to large rudder volume, which means high rates. And then switch to manual flight mode. Press the inverted flight button for two seconds to enter the one key inverted flight mode. And then move the aileron rocker to the left or right. So the sequence is, I think, important. We'll do it again on the Scout as well. I have to first go in high rates, then manual mode, then press the invert button for two seconds. Let's try. Let's try. Turn on the volume. So first we have to go, we have to go to, okay, let's try, let's go. It's optical flow on right now, so let's first go up. We're gonna go high rates, manual, go up. Okay. One, 1,000 to 1,000. Oh, there we go. Woo, he did it. We did it. The sequence is important. Cool. Never seen a 206 go upside down before. Here we have it. Come close. Now I did the same thing on the Scout and it didn't do it. So I'm gonna go back and redo, redo the sequence. It is pretty cool to watch a scale helicopter going upside down. But I bet you 3D pilots would go a little uh, crazy on this because the controls are the same as normal flight. So nothing reverses, which is good for beginners. All right, let's go back up and Rotate back. Okay. Uh oh. What the heck happened there? It just turned itself off. So, you saw that on video. Not good. It hit hard. Not that bad. We can fix this. So the damage is not that much, but it shouldn't. I'm not gonna fly these guys inverted. It's not. It's not meant for inverted flying. No matter how easy you make it. Anyways. Okay, damage report. The power shut off when I came out of inverted mode and there's plenty of battery. So I don't know why. It may have come loose. The connectors might have come loose. The damage is a little bit of a problem here on the light. I have to probably put that back in. Broken skid, CA would fix that. And what bothered me most is, believe it or not, the tail thing broke off, but I can probably put a, a clip and paint it, paper clip. But uh, 
it does it. I'm gonna try it on on the Scout now. Hopefully it won't crash. We're gonna fly the Yuzhang F08 helicopter one more time. And hopefully we can. Invert it again without falling. I did CA this a little bit. We'll see. It's on optical flow. So I'm gonna go on manual. Manual. High rates. It's on high rates. And manual mode. Very beautiful helicopter. Livery is nice. All right, let's try to invert it again. Just to prove it. High rates, annual, one 1,000 to 1,000. There you go. Okay, inverted, bring her down. Let's go back and invert again. Ready? One more thousand. All right, this time, I think the battery came loose last time. That's why it dropped out of the sky. So make sure the battery is nice and snug if you want to try that attempt, uh, that, that uh, maneuver. The good news is these are durable. I mean, you saw it fall and, you know, it, I thought I would have definitely cracked the fuselage and it didn't. It was just a little minor separation that I pushed back together and the skid just C8 it, no big deal. The only thing that broke is the tail piece, the little, the pin in the back and that that could be replaced easy i don't need a new part for that so kudos for the durability
Manual mode, no optical flow here, keeping her steady. Let's land. It could still fly another three, four minutes. We're gonna land.